Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be taking all of these plants off of these shelves. Let me give you a zoomed out look here. So we're going to be cleaning all of these shelves off and putting back all of the plants. I'm gonna be checking my plants, wiping down the shelves, and we're gonna be reorganizing. So here's a little before of my plant shelves and stay tuned for the after and you're gonna come along with me. It's plant chore day. You can kind of just sit back, listen to some tunes and maybe clean with me. Maybe put this on in the background while you're cleaning your plant shelves. Hopefully it could be some inspiration to somebody because I've been dragging to get this done all week. All right, let's go. Step one, take all of these plants and put them on the dining room table so I can clean them. Let's fast forward this. I wish I could do this in real life. Okay, so I got all the plants off the shelves. <laughs> That's a lot. When you kind of look at it like that, it's, it's a lot of plants. Um, the top plants, I just kind of move out of the way. So I'm gonna get up there on a ladder and swiffer it first and then wipe it down um, because I don't have any more room on my table. So we'll just work around it, it's fine. But I do like to separate the plants um, by genus because I like to have one or two shelves be strictly cactus shelf or desert my desert shelves and then I like to have a Hoya area I like my propagations which are here to have their own area I never move my donkey tail because I'm 
terrified, low key, that all the leaves are just gonna fall off. So I never move it. So I clean around it. But that's pretty much it. So now I'm gonna get up there, clean the shelves off, and then we're gonna reposition all these plants. Let's do it. Okay, I normally use vinegar to clean my shelves. Pure vinegar with a little bit of water. I couldn't find it, so I'm using Mom's Sparkle today and some paper towel. It'll do the trick. Let's go. Okay, I wanted to bring you along so we can check my catchy together. This is the first time I'm checking it in a week. I'm a little nervous, honestly, because I don't know what I'm gonna find in here. I, I think, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to check this more often, but okay, let me show you. Not sponsored, by the way. I definitely purchased this myself. So let's um, turn it off. So what it does is it emits a blue light, which I believe attracts the fungus gnats. And then it also has a fan going, which is kind of cool. And then the sticky trap is located under here. So, okay. So then you just kind of unclip, you push this. I'm still kind of getting the hang of it. Okay. Okay, well, that's all that's on there. Can you see that? It's not that bad. So I don't know. I finally, I'm gonna leave this sticky trap in here because there's not a lot in there, but I finally got, I finally took all of my yellow sticky traps out of the plants themselves. And today is watering day. So what that means is that there's no other traps to catch the fungus gnats. Cause I know I have more fungus gnats than that in here. Like. I do, I just know I do. I threw all those out and then I'm also gonna water my plants. And when you water your plants, it's just like a perfect breeding ground for fungus gnats. It's usually when you see them. So I am going to give it another week and that'll be the real test of what's in there. Maybe I'll pop it in another video, but I'm so curious if you have a catchy, let me know how you like it. I saw somebody post it online and then my friend Becca, Becca De La Plants, she has one and she loves it. So I don't know how I feel about it yet. We'll see. Stay tuned. Okay, back to cleaning. More importantly, it's a process setting up this dang camera. Come on, tripod. Level that horizon. That's good enough, right? Sure. Let's go. I'm sweating. <laughs> okay, so this will work. <laughs> the really good thing about glass shelves is it lets light through. So it's so, I can't do this. Okay, wait. <laughs> there. <laughs> 
The really good thing about glass shelving is that it is so nice because it allows light through the shelves. So you have to keep your shelving units clean in order for the light to come through it. It's just like Adam said in the podcast, um, Pot It Together, if you're listening to our podcast. He said, you know, this is a good time of the year to make sure that you clean your windows because if your windows are dusty or they're dirty, the light's not gonna get through as strong as it normally would if your windows were clean. I mean, it's, I guess it's common sense, but we don't really think about that. We just think like it's a window, light's coming through. But this time of the year in the US, we're going into the winter season and light is just not ample anymore. So we wanna make sure we're allowing as much light in as possible. The same thing goes for your plant shelves with your lights on them. If you're using grow lights on your glass plant shelves, it's important to keep them clean because it's not gonna be as reflective as if the glass were, was clean. So it's important to keep things clean, just like your leaves. Now I'm gonna go check my leaves because I was up there, I don't know if you were able to see me up there, but I was looking at my, <laughs> Syngonia macrophyllum and I think that it's dying because the leaves are dusty. <laughs> I do not see thrips, I do not see spider mites, I don't see mealybugs, but the leaves are dying. I just repotted it so I know it doesn't have root rot unless it just developed root rot over the past two weeks, which is very well possible, I'm not sure. But I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna dust these leaves off and see and make sure that they're all clean if they need it. Okay, let's go. Let's put these plants back on the shelves. Do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in? All your hopes and efforts are all in vain.
Okay. <laughs> I finished. Oh my gosh. Um, so very crowded, not so crowded. I don't know. I'm really curious to know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section and tell me if you think I should just stop trying to be so controlling about having the same genus on the same shelf. <laughs> I have all of my like aeroidy leafy plants here and then I have um, my propagation shelf and then I have two cactus shelves and a Hoya shelf. I feel like I might end up switching my leafy plants, these two shelves, down to this Hoya shelf. Maybe. And then my Hoya shelf split it between two. <sighs> No, no, but I love my desert shelves so much. So let's go check it out. There it is. There's the after. Oh, I kind of like it. Okay, so as I was saying before, see how bare the leafy aeroid shelves are? Ugh. It's kind of bare. There's a lot of space. And then you go over here and it's like desert scape, crowded. And then there's a Hoya shelf. Oof, it's crowded. See, my, my thought process is, is that the leaves on my Hoyas are bigger, which makes it look more crowded. It's not necessarily the pot size. And the leaves on my aeroids are much smaller because I have a lot of like two leaf, one leaf, uh, like a Standiliana propagation, an elbow propagation. So it's like, mm, these should probably all be on one shelf. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. But I think my favorite shelves are definitely my desert ones. I love the little decorations I have in there. All the terracotta, the aesthetic of the terracotta is probably my favorite. I just love how it looks. It's so cute. I've definitely downsized. If you've been here since day one, you'll, you'll notice I've downsized quite a bit, which if you're new here might be hard to believe after looking at all these plants. But I did. I did. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I wanna do a little before and after. So here's a little before. And now here's the after. I love it. I think it's so cute. I'm just a little torn on the emptiness and the crowdedness of these two areas. <laughs> So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thanks so much guys for joining me in today's video. You know what? Something else people are probably wondering about. This is a propagation still because it doesn't have any roots. So I'm not just like shoving my beautiful gloriosum cutting in the corner here. I do plan on potting it up once it gets roots, but I have it in some sphagnum moss and it doesn't fit on my shelves, but I needed to get the light from the shelves. So that's why it's like on an angle there <laughs> and it's top heavy. Okay. Just in case you wanted to know. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.